Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to add and subtract mixed numbers. Here's our question. The owners of a melon farm recorded the weight of nine melons in a line plot as shown. So here are our nine melons in their line plot. When the owners record the weight of a tenth melon, the difference in the weight between the heaviest and the lightest melons is two and three-fourths pounds. Which of the following could be the weight of the tenth melon? And here are your four choices. So I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So reviewing what we're looking for, we're going to find the difference from the heaviest and the lightest melons, and we're looking for that value to be two and three-fourths pounds. So as it stands right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are our nine melons. When we take one of these four choices, that's going to be our tenth melon. And the difference between the heaviest and the lightest needs to be two and three-fourths pounds. So let's look at our choice A, extend our line plot, and put choice A on to our line plot. So if choice A was our 10th melon, now we have 10 melons on here, then the difference between our lightest and our heaviest, don't be fooled, 7 and 3 fourths does not have a melon here. Our heaviest melon is 7 and 1 fourth in this configuration. Our lightest is 2 and a half. But we know if we're going to go from 2 to 7, or 2 and a half to 7 and 1 fourth, that's almost a difference of 5. That is way more than 2 and 3 three fourths. So we're going to rule out choice A because that's too big of a difference. Now I'm pretty confident. Let's take this off of our line plot. We're going to add two and three fourths as our lightest melon. I'm pretty confident after what I just learned about two and a half that it's not going to work, but let's look at this. So two and three fourths is almost three. Three to seven is four. So automatically I know it can't be this because that's already greater than two. So we can take off choice B and we clean up our line plot. Now let's look, we only have two answer choices left, C and D. So we're gonna go ahead and add choice C, which is seven and a half, which means we are adding a heavier melon. So now this is our heaviest melon, which makes our least or our lightest melon four and three fourths. So here's our lightest melon right here. So four and three fourths to seven and one half. So when I look at that, I'm going to say that that is one-fourth to five. Five to seven is two. So now I have two and that one-fourth. So two and one-fourth plus another half is two and three-fourths. I'm pretty confident that C is my answer. But let's check D just to be sure. So now we're going to add D, which would be the seven and three-fourths, which would be our heaviest. And we can see that four and three fourths to seven and three fourths, they're both having a fraction of three fourths. So we go from four to seven, and that's a jump of three, which is greater than two and three fourths. So we know it's not choice D, and I'm confident in my choice C. So our tenth melon, if it was seven and one half pounds, that would provide a difference of two and three fourths pounds from the lightest melon to the heaviest melon. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you'll come back soon.